This is Mr. Burley at St. Elizabeth Catholic School. Um, today I want to show you how to create a drawing that you can print out and submit uh, for your working model. So this is the model I've done. It's in the uh, isometric view. I'm finished it and now I'd like to make a drawing up, a working drawing, an orthographic drawing so that I can have it made. So first thing you do, first of all the model is open so what I do is I go File, New, and then I click Drawing. Make sure you uncheck this default, use default template, and then click OK. When it comes up, we're going to browse for the paper size. We're going to use paper size A because we only have one size available to us here. Click OK. Empty with format. Make sure that's selected. And then we're going to click OK. And up this comes. Now, I can expand it. This is my drawing template. This is actually 8.5 by 11. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the general view. So it says no combined states. Click OK. Now, using our left mouse button, you click and it'll bring up a picture of the drawing. Well, the bottom left hand corner, we want this front view. I've taught you in class that it's the side view, but it's this in this, it's the, it's the front view. Then what we do is we can go down through and we can visible area. Let's not worry about that. Scale. Um, we can go to the scale and I want to set it to custom scale. I'm going to try to set it to 0.75. One would be one to one and this is point, we're going to set it to 0.75. I just know from experience it doesn't quite fit with the slot cards they don't quite fit on there. So I'm going to point 0.75. Then I'm going to come down to view states, view display and I'm going to change it. Right now it's a solid model. I'm going to change it to a, click on this line right here, I'm going to click it to wireframe. And I'm going to, as soon as you click apply, you can see it goes OK. So I'll close that. Now you see we can move it around. So I want to move it into a position that fits nicely on, on the paper down at the bottom corner so that I can then later on put the dimensions in. Next thing you do is you go projection. Bring this down. If you clicked up here, it's going to do the top. I don't want to do that yet. I want to click down here and I want to bring it over here. And I want to click this view. And I want to go projection again, come back up here. And I want to go up this way. Projection. Oh, something's going wrong. Just a second. Projection. Do do do. There. I don't know what happened there. Anyways, I want a projection. I want to do this one up here. Now, I want them all to be wireframe. Right now, they're not. So what we can do is we can come back here. Click on this guy here. We can right-click properties. Click on view view display. Change this to wireframe. Click apply. Click close. Then we can do the same with the other ones. Come here. Right-click. Properties, View Display, change that to Wireframe, Apply, OK, close that, and then the very last one here, Properties, and we're going to click View Display, and we can go to Wireframe. There's different ways to do it. I'm just showing this one. Now, this is cluttered, and there's lots of drawing, lots of stuff on here. So I'm going to change this actual last one here to Properties. I'm going to click on View Display. And rather than wireframe, I'm going to have hidden lines. It's going to clean it up a bit, and you're still going to see where the hidden lines would be. So there you see. Makes it a little cleaner. Now, up in this corner, I want to put an isometric view. So I'll go back to this, click OK, click here. And I'm going to leave the isometric view slightly smaller because if I made it large, it wouldn't fit on there. So I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm also going to leave it as solid so that the people that don't quite understand how this is, they can look at your car and, and understand what you're, what, you're, what you're making. Now, what we do next is we're going to sketch, click on sketch, sorry, annotate, and we're going to dimension things. Now, you have to dimension everything. You have to ask yourself, when you're, when you're dimensioning, are all the dimensions present such that this could be made? Or am I going to send this drawing out to somebody and they're going to come back to me and say, oh, this dimension was missing or this dimension was missing? You want to make sure. Ask yourself, is, are all dimensions present? So you click this line, click this line here. I'm going to click up here. It's 131 millimeters long. I could now change, click that again, turn it red, and move it further away from the model should I want to do that. Do all of the dimensions for everything, all the dimensions that are required. Then you come down. Once the dimensions are all present and accounted for, you're going to come down and you're going to fill in the title block. In the title block, you click Note, and then you can change a bunch of things here. Play around with that, but I'm just going to go Make Note, and I see it says Select Free Point on the drawing. I'm going to select this box right here. Then up in here, I'm just going to write 
slot slot car name of the, the file click OK click OK again and it, up it comes I'm gonna go done then I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna move it double click it and I'm gonna move it into a if I can grab a hold of it here that's editing it I'm gonna move it down into a position I want it like this now I can double click on it again change the font size cha add text change the sizes and all the rest of it um, fill all this in as per we've discussed in the class, uh, material, number required, who was drawn by, your date, your revision number, and everything. So this drawing should be complete. You should have all your dimensions present on here. We should have slot car, the name of it, again, all the stuff that we did in class. Then, the last thing we do is we go, get rid of this, sorry. I'm gonna go File, Save As, Export PDF, and it'll come up like this. And now you can see all, you can see the size is correct, you can see everything, and this is an eight and a half by 11. We print that out and then submit that. Okay, so that would, that concludes this.